Good evening all. My vocoder project hasn't progressed very far. Uh, it consists of this front panel and one partly completed circuit board. And one of the reasons that uh, it's only really got this far is because I've been waiting for parts, specifically potentiometers. Well, now I have some uh, potentiometers. This has come from Tader Electronics in Thailand. Um, now they're not the cheapest, but they do have a very good range. Uh, they're often quite quick shipping as well. Um, I don't know whether that's got something to do with Thailand being nearer than China, but uh, whatever the reason, they turn out reasonably quick. So these are logarithmic potentiometers because this is an audio project. Uh, most of the pots are log pots, and so they're marked uh, A, like this one, A100K, and uh, this other one in here, I think, is 10K. Yes, A10K. So these are the items I bought. Um, two 100K logarithmic taper potentiometers, uh, £1.28 for those two. So, I mean, it's not a bad price and uh, two 10K logarithmic, again, £1.28, so total 256 for four pots, that's not bad. But the linear pots are so much cheaper. You can get bundles of 10 or 20 linear pots much, much cheaper from the Chinese sellers. And uh, I did toy with the idea of using linear pots instead of log pots, uh, just because they're a bit cheaper, but then I thought, no, it's not really on, is it? Let's do this properly. Let's build the project as it was originally designed and use the proper log pots. And then, I can't quite remember why, but I went to Wikipedia to look up potentiometers and uh, I saw this. It says, most cheaper log potentiometers are not accurately logarithmic, but use two regions of different resistance, but constant resistivity, to approximate a logarithmic law. Hmm, interesting. And uh, on this page called The Secret Life of Pots, um, you've got uh, the straight line for a linear pot, obviously. Uh, this line number two is what should be a genuine log pot. And then this pair of lines is what log pots actually often are, which is just an approximation of a log curve. And it's just two linear curves sort of attached together. So I guess it's one resistance for about half the track and another resistance for the other half. Would it be half? Um, and I just wondered whether my log pots are like this or like this. And so I thought I'd uh, actually measure them. So I've come up with this uh, contraption where I'm using a, a full circle protractor. And this actually had a, a sort of pointer that you could move around. I've kind of broken that off and cut bits away. But I found that uh, this pot knob just happened to fit inside the uh, handle for this. So I've drilled out the centre of this. I can now fit the pot through there, put the handle on it and accurately turn it by a set number of degrees. Now I've already plotted uh, this pot, which is a B100K and B100K is linear. And uh, I'll show you the results. And it is perhaps not surprisingly a straight line. Now there are these two little flat areas at the ends um, which I suspect is where the wiper of the pot uh, passes by this little rivet which goes through the track and uh, so the resistance change stops. So I'm going to have to break this little tab off but they break off quite easily. And then let's just put a couple of blobs of solder on here. I'm putting it onto the rivets because I don't want to solder to the pins just yet because uh, I'll deal with that when I put the pots into the finished project. So the log pot is uh, fitted into here now, a couple of wires to attach my DVM. Now this um, fairly accurately runs from zero degrees round to, uh, yeah, pretty much bang on 300 degrees. So they're using 300 out of the 360 degrees uh, total turn. So now let's hook up the uh, DVM and start plotting. So at uh, zero degrees I've got 1.4 ohms, so that's effectively zero. Okay, let's go up to 10 degrees. And we've got uh, 69 
ohms. Well, now these are these very small squares are 1k, so that's effectively zero again. It's got to 20 degrees. Check this for parallax very easily. Uh, so what have we got there? We've got 242 ohms, so that's just off the bottom, up to 30 degrees. And we've got 720 ohms, so that's nearly one square. So we're there. Good. Well, I've done half the pot and I'm not quite sure what this result means because we seem to have two slopes within half the pot. There's a gentle slope down here, uh, that's where my pencil broke, and then there's a slightly steeper slope there. So I guess I'm going to have to carry on and uh, take it all the way to 300 degrees and see what the final outcome is. And uh, it's not quite what I was expecting. There's a little bit of a messy top to it there. Now one thing that happened is that the linear pot actually only went up to 92.5k. The log pot actually went up to 101k. But there definitely do seem to be two main uh, straight line sections here. That, that was quite a good fit there. That was a good fit. This third sort of um, lower slope, I'm not quite sure what that is and whether this pot's been built with sort of three uh, straight line segments or sections. But uh, yes, definitely not a pure logarithmic curve. This has been built with, uh, well, either two or possibly three linear uh, straight line resistance sections. So it does look like uh, using a linear pot where there should be a log pot probably wouldn't be a good idea because the volume level would jump up much more quickly than uh, one would like. But um, the log pot is definitely not logarithmic. It's just a series of linear uh, sections, but it would uh, re uh, result in the volume not coming up too quickly at the low end. And so I don't suppose you'd hear the fact that this isn't actually a pure curve. Um, it would sound pretty reasonable, I would imagine. So log pots it is then. Um, now, unfortunately, the pins of this pot don't actually fit through the holes on this uh, matrix board, which is a bit of a nuisance. So I'm going to have to sort of bend them over and just solder this kind of flat onto there. And then when that is on there, that'll go through uh, a hole in this panel and uh, the board will just sit flat against the front panel like that. But uh, interesting that uh, log pots are not actually logarithmic. Cheerio!